Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Dahlia and I hope you guys are all having an absolutely wonderful day. Welcome back to Driftwood. I know I haven't been on this island in a little while um, for decorating. Uh, it's been like a month and a half. I don't have any excuses other than wanting to finish my other island and then starting a new one. But we're back today with another speed build. And we're also back with a new villager. This is O'Hare. If you guys have seen my um, villager hunting videos for this island, I said I wanted O'Hare for this island. And he was in my campsite, so I invited him to move uh, move in. He replaced Sherb. Um, so yeah, so today we are going to be doing a speed build. Super excited. As you guys can tell by the title of the video, we're making a poolside hotel. I'm so excited and I hope you guys are too. So if so, yeah, if you guys do like today's video, feel free to leave a like on the video as well as comment down below. I love hearing from you guys and I love reading and responding to your comments. And if you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. So without further ado, let's get started. I already did kind of like a pre layout kind of thing for the um, build both for the pool area as well as where I'm going to be placing the hotels plural because there's going to be like two little mini hotels um, and yeah I just wanted to have an idea of like how much space I'm going to be using this is a pretty big build in terms of like the space that I'm using for it so I wanted to make sure that everything fit so I'm just placing down the custom design for this um, incredible looking pool design and this water design, both from two different content creators. I will be making sure to leave the creator codes as well as their social medias if I can find it in the description like I do for all of my speed build videos. And if I ever don't um, leave credit, please tell me because I always try to make sure that I keep track of all my um, my custom codes I use on my island. So after placing down the pool design, I decided to put down this tile. This tile is so, so pretty. It's a part of the design um, that is like around the, the perimeter of the pool. So I'm just placing that down absolutely everywhere. This is going to be the tile that I'm using for like the pool area. Um, so yeah, I love the way that this looks. And I also was going to put it on the tops of the hotel um, and changed my mind and instead went with my white like board walk um, code instead. Let me know if you think maybe the tile would look better. Um, I couldn't decide so I went with this one. And yeah, so for my hotels today, I'm going to be taking inspiration from Tropicitch underscore ACNH sure you guys have seen their content on Instagram and Twitter, everywhere. They're so incredibly talented and they've made in tons of incredible speed builds, um, making fake buildings. I'm going to be doing a moderation, like a, like a modded version of it, um, but using, once again, the bookshelves that they use in a lot of their um, builds and obviously simple panels to <laughs> make the windows, which I've done for other builds on this island so far. And if you haven't seen any of my previous builds for this island, I have made quite a few so far, quite a few big builds. So feel free to check the playlist in my description where you can check out all the um, speed builds I've done for this island and for my other island as well, if you're interested in those ones as well. So I'm going to show you guys really quickly how to do like the layout for this one and then I'm just going to quickly do it off camera for the second one. Um, but just putting um, bookshelves all around the perimeter to make like, like walls. And then this is the design I've chosen to use for the windows. Not 100% set on it might change my mind. It was between this one and another one and I even did a poll on Twitter asking people which color they preferred and people were actually going with the other one. Um, I'll put a picture of it up on the screen for you guys to see the other option and I still am not sure. I don't even know if I want to use the other one either. Like I might change it to go with the other one. I felt like the other one was too dark, the, the blue, but I want to do a blue color. And this one matches the one for my other hotel, the yellow hotel I did in my last speed build for this island. Um, so I'm going to see if maybe I can find another one. I might change it in the future, but for now, 
This is the one we're working with. It is cute. I'm just not 100% set on it. So I decided to do a cute little um, deck, like a porch that you would have, like a balcony for a hotel. I do change this director's chair. I thought it was super cute, but I ended up actually changing it. But I wasn't originally going to even do balconies at all, but I'm like, you know what? Instead of just having the panels like directly up against the complete edge of the, the cliff and not having anything there, I like having like little things. It looks really cute. So I just did two different balconies on both hotels. I did make them as unique and different as possible. And you can kind of see, like, as you're walking by, you can see what it looks like. Um, and then for this one, I did a clothesline pole and then another little seating area. I ended up using the rattan um, chair on this balcony. And then I ended up switching the director's chair for the other rattan furniture on the other side. Um, the rattan furniture absolutely going to be probably the staple furniture set for this island, among a couple of others. And yes, I do know I'm using two different colorways for the rattan furniture, but I don't like the blue color of the cushion on the light color, and I prefer the light colored table. So we're, we're mixing and matching. Nothing looks perfect. You don't always have to use the same colorway for everything. Um... So that's what I did for this one. I do, I think, yeah, just quickly change the thing over right here. And then I also added a little record, and a record player, like a portable radio because the blue matched. I thought it looked really cute. I don't even think I have the radio turned on because you can't choose what music you listen to on the portable radio. So I think it's just there for more for show than anything else. Um, so yeah, then I went to start decorating the pool area. The majority of this video is just decorating because I did a lot of like the terraforming, pre-filming. But there wasn't a lot of terraforming even to begin with, which I kind of like builds that don't require a lot of terraforming. Although I'm really excited to actually start terraforming. I'm going to be, um, flattening the back part of this island this week, hopefully. And yeah, um, so over here I decided to put some changing rooms. You know, it's it's a poolside. What else are you gonna have besides changing rooms? I just put two beside each other. I don't touch this left side of the build more than just the changing rooms because I'm not sure if I want to close that spot off or have a like um a, a path leading. I'm not sure yet. Then I just quickly put down some inflatable sofas to work as kind of like water floaties. Um, and then I threw a life ring down too. I hope to get tons of photos of my villagers laying here. Hopefully, it's really close to resident services, so hopefully they'll like travel from the plaza to here. Um, and then I do jump the next day, like in real life, and I actually fix the tile to make the pool just one tile up, just so I had more room for the tile at the bottom part of the, the pool area. And then, this is actually the next day in real life, and I did do some time traveling, and we had another villager in the campsite, and look who it was. It's Marshall. Okay, so Marshall's not going to be a permanent resident on this island, um, but he is going to be a villager on my new Autumn Core Island. If you guys didn't know, I did start a new Autumn Core Island called Coffee Bean. So I had him move in, and then eventually he's going to be moving out of this island, and then I'll move him to my other island. I also have Kiki on this island, and I'll be moving to the other island too. It's a mess. But anyway, I of course had to take him because he's one of my favorites, and I didn't want to risk not finding him and having to go villager hunting for him and uh, all those things. So I'm just decorating this side of the pool area. I decided to make this kind of like a snack area and then an area you can get towels. I put a lifeguard chair there. Just kind of like basic things you'd find by a poolside. I also used this um, laundry and like kind of hamper design. Uh, if you guys saw me putting down that umbrella design um, and it's kind of like going to be like, oh, like people putting their towels down around the pool area and then this little stall is where people can like rent out the towels. That's why I also put like, the little nook mile ticket to be like a ticket that they have to like check out. You, you know what I mean? It looks really cute, I think. <laughs> and then I put a couple of more of these around. I thought this one that kind of looks more like folded laundry could be like people's own towels, like fresh towels. And then the ones that kind of look more like laundry baskets that are a little bit more disarray can be like not used towels, but I guess you can say used towels, like towels that people have already used. So I put one by the, the changing room. 
Um, and yeah, I love these coats. I love using the umbrella designs and I'm glad I remembered to use it because I was going to and then I almost forgot. Um, and yeah, so then I just started putting more furniture down. Um, I had to time travel like several times to get all the um, furniture items I needed. So I thought I had everything and I didn't. And I finally got the coconut juice um, DIY. Like I was using my other island to craft them and then I didn't have that island anymore. So thankfully I finally got one on Twitter from someone. Thank you so much for it because how can I be a tropical island without coconut juice? Like I had none left that I had crafted before. So it was, it was a, a frightening situation. So then I decided to put these fan palms down in front of the hotels. I was going to make like little decks for the hotel and I just did not have enough space. So I just made as much use of the space that I could. I didn't want it to be blank there. So I put a couple more of the rattan um, chairs and then a couple of plants which I thought looked really cute and then I put this floor sign like this slippery one wet sign <laughs> and it's so cute and then I put some of the parasols I love using the festival parasols as like um, beach umbrellas I really hope we get more items in game but like it's fun like manipulating items to find out like different ways of using them and I just think it looks super cute and then after putting that down I started this pathway. I just needed to fix it up. I put some of the um, sand path that I'm using on my island there and then I moved that palm tree from where the bowl is to there just because it blocked so much of the, the walkway and I didn't want it to block it anymore. And then I just put the destination signpost that is where the palm tree used to be and then just fixed it. I hate how much space the palm, the destination signpost takes up because it takes up like a tile and a half because of the top part of it, but I made it work. And then I just placed some palm trees around the area. I didn't decorate a lot with flowers and trees and stuff for this build because I'm not quite sure how I want to decorate the like surrounding area yet. Um, so I kept it really, really simple. And then I put some ironwood fencing down and then because of this I actually fix the cliff that is beside me where the cafe slash bar area is um, in order to put this iron fencing down around the entire bottom part of the build because I realized I didn't need the cliff to be as wide as, as it is um, so I just moved the palm tree that's on the, sh the cliff you'll see you'll see me doing it later and I know I didn't talk about it, but this little area that's like where I'm putting the fencing down right now, it's kind of like a little cleaning area for like to people to clean off their, their feet or whatever after getting out of the, getting out of the pool, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, there's me destroying the cliff. I just quickly fixed the palm trees off camera. I just moved them for one space so that I could destroy this cliff. And because I was able to destroy the cliff, I actually decided to decorate this area with um, some poolside beds. I wasn't going to originally. I was just gonna put the parasols because you can kind of see them like peeking out. But because the palm tree is moved forward now, you can see it a lot better, that space. Like not a lot, but I still want you to be able to see it. And this is actually a part of my flyover when you go to the island, like one of the first things that you see. Um, so I wanted to make sure that the whole area was decorated as much as possible. And yeah, so I was just finishing putting the ironwood, um, fencing up. And then I decided it'd be really cute to put a megaphone next to the lifeguard chair. So it's like a megaphone that the lifeguard can scream out of if people are running or like roughhousing. I don't know. I thought it was really cute. Like I saw the megaphone in my, my inventory it was for my, my storage and was like, Okay, this is really cute. Like, I like that idea. Um, and I've never decorated with a megaphone before. So, yeah. Then I'm just decorating this little area. Like I said, like, I can, you can kind of see it. It's, like, kind of obscured. Um, and I wanted to use this wide brim hat as decoration because I love using the hats as decoration. And if I put it there, you couldn't lay down on the pool bed. And I want to make sure that all the pool beds were like accessible to lay down just in case I wanted to get photos of like my villagers or anything else. So I just remove the hat, unfortunately. It's okay. I have another hat like 
on the top left where the changing rooms are, but like, I don't know. Anyway, I'm officially finished building this time travel to grow in all the trees and everything and have all the flowers and stuff grow in. So let's check out the final product. Oh my gosh. It looks so like bougie and it makes me want to go on vacation so badly. I'm um, getting a lot of inspiration for this island based on a lot of resorts and hotels I've stayed at. Um, and this one actually kind of reminds me of a pool that I had at one of the hotels I stayed at. And it just, it looks so pretty and I just want to go on vacation. <laughs> like I'm very in a fall cozy mood right now, but I'm also in like a summer I want to go on vacation mood. Y you get what I'm saying. All right, that officially wraps up today's video. Really hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm so happy to be decorating on Driftwood again, and I can't wait to continue decorating this tropical resort island with you all. So if you liked today's video, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. And if you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. It means the absolute world to have your support. So that's everything for today. I hope you guys all have an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.